State representatives working on a bill that would make insulin easier to access for Michiganders by bringing a manufacturer to the state in a public-private partnership. Up North Live's Daniel Zivian joins us live in the Content Center with more about the bill. Daniel. Mark, more than 38 million Americans have diabetes, according to the American Diabetes Association. Millions of those people rely on getting insulin to control their blood sugar. But as Representative Kurt Vanderwall points out, for some, with or without insurance, the cost is way too high. The average person in the state of Michigan is about $800 a month for insulin, so you're looking at $9,200 a year. We're looking at bringing this down to less than $600 a year total. Uh, the same thing when it comes to public insurance, there's still a price that they have to pay and people are deciding, can I really afford it or do I ration my insulin or do I just not take it at all? Hannah Schaefer works for the National Kidney Foundation of Michigan and is herself a type 1 diabetic, diagnosed at 13 years old. She says she is fortunate enough to afford insulin, but has met many who can't. That was such a factor for them that they had to decide between paying rent and being healthy um, to the point of some people not surviving because they made a choice to you know, pay rent for such an extended period of time that they weren't able to um, keep their, their numbers in a sustainable range. Representative Vanderwall offers House Bill 4890. Vanderwall first introduced the bill in July 2023. Now part of a bipartisan package, it was recently heard by the Committee on Health Policy. The bill will establish the framework for the state of Michigan to contract with a generic insulin producer to build and operate a facility that is capable of manufacturing and distributing insulin pens and vials. Not only will it create high quality jobs here in Michigan, it will lower the cost of the actual drug. For Schaefer and her family, including two young children, a stable lower cost would alleviate many concerns for the future. During my two pregnancies with them, I had a lot of fear about that because I knew a tiny change in my blood sugars could impact whether they were able to survive the pregnancy at all and if they were born with complications. So I had a lot of fear around something happening on the insurance end. If the bill were passed, the program would be created by the Michigan Strategic Fund with up to $150 million made available to make the private-public partnership work. Live in the Content Center, Daniel Zivian, Up North Live News.